Hi there, I'm Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. In this video, we'll explore using an artist tablet and pen with Painter Essentials. I created the paintings shown here on screen from scratch by drawing and painting freehand using Painter and my Wacom pressure sensitive tablet and pen. As you can see, expressive brushwork and realistic texture is possible in Painter. For the Sun Lily, I I use the acrylics and oils brushes, and for the Sunrise Sea, I use the dry media, for instance, chalk and pastels. To set up your artist tablet for your personal hand movement and pressure, we will use brush tracking in Painter. To open brush tracking, click on Painter Essential 6, choose Preferences, and then come down here and choose Brush Tracking to open the dialog. Within the dialog, we have the scratch pad, and here we have the graph that's going to show the output after we apply our stroke to the scratch pad. And we also have scale down here as well. But before we apply our stroke to the scratch pad, what is brush tracking? Well, when you draw or paint with traditional tools, the pressure and other hand movements that like tilt or bearing that you make with the tool, say for instance your pencil, your chalk, or your brush, determines the expression, opacity, and width of your stroke. Using a pressure sensitive tablet and stylus with Painter gives you similar control and expression. You can adjust the brush tracking in Painter for your personal stroke strength. Painter supports pressure, velocity, direction, tilt, and bearing. With the brush tracking window open, make a representative stroke on the screen. Notice the graph change. Brush tracking is especially good for people that have a very light touch on the tablet. I'm going to press very lightly. Go to a little harder so you see the graph change. I'm going to click OK to accept. Now that we have our brush tracking all set up, Let's have fun making some expressive strokes with a variety of brushes in Painter. I'm going to get my pen, and as you see, the acrylics and oils is chosen, and the broad cover brush is chosen. Now, the broad cover brush has textured edges, and I made a stroke with medium pressure here. Now I'm going to make one with light pressure. You see it shows a lot of texture. The next brush we're going to use is the opaque acrylic, and it's down here, and the opaque acrylic varies the thickness of the stroke depending on the pressure that you apply, as you see here. The next one we'll take a look at is the variable flat. The variable flat varies opacity, with pressure, and now I'm going to press very, very light, and then heavy. So as you see, it's very expressive. Next, we're going to choose the chalk, pastel, and crayons, and the sharp charcoal pencil. I'm going to press light, and then go to medium, and then heavy pressure. So you see how expressive it is, and make some hatching marks with lighter pressure. Next we're going to look at the square chalk and the square chalk varies opacity with pressure and also grain. I use the square chalk in my landscape painting that you see back here. Next the square extra soft pastel I'm going to press very light, you get beautiful texture, and then press heavier, and it covers more opaquely, just like a very soft pastel would do. Next we're going to look at the tapered large chalk, which is a round chalk, and the thickness and opacity of the stroke vary with pressure. Finally, we're going to have a look at the pencil. We're going to choose the thick and thin pencil. Get a 
very expressive pencil mark here. Lighter pressure, and you see the gray more. And then finally, one of our favorites, the scratch board tool, which is a pen. We just saw how expressive painter can be when combined with a pressure sensitive tablet and pen. Now we just made marks with the scratch board tool. I still have it chosen. Right now I have a mouse in my hand and I'm going to make a couple strokes with the mouse and a squiggly stroke with the mouse. <laughs> now let's take the tapered large chalk and have a look at that with a mouse. See, I'm not getting any pressure and I'm not getting any varying in the width of the stroke the way that I did up here. So that was a fun comparison. The tablet I am using is my Wacom Intuos Pro Medium tablet and pen. Using a high quality pen tablet allows us to paint expressive strokes with finesse and control that is not possible with just a mouse. Have fun and happy painting! Mm -hmm.